Yeah, there was a lot of anticipation uh, for the final space shuttle launch. Um, large group here at the Space Shuttle Hall of Fame uh, here to view the final space shuttle launch. And um, there was a lot of anticipation, especially when we got to the 31 second uh, mark on the countdown clock when they held the countdown clock. Um, but we did hear that they were going to um, visually inspect with a camera, and then at that point we realized that it probably could go today. So there's a lot of anticipation due to the weather, but the weather seemed to clear up, and we were go for lunch. And there was a lot of excitement here at the uh, Astronaut Hall of Fame here at the Kennedy Space Center. We were thinking uh, with, we're here with a group from uh, the Capital Region, and we're just thinking it's unbelievable that we're here witnessing the final space shuttle launch in history, and that we don't really have another vehicle here in the United States to take astronauts into space into low Earth orbit. Um, it's being worked on, but you know, it could be five years down the line before we're able to do this here in the United States, and that's a little bit disappointing. So we know that we're really witnessing history today. Yes, this is actually the third launch that I've seen. Uh, I attended the STS-132 launch and also the STS-133 launch where I was a member of the tweet-up group, uh, the NASA tweet-up. About 150 people were selected by NASA, invited down, and we were um, three miles away from the launch pad, which is as close as you can possibly get. You can not only see the launch, you can hear the launch, you can feel the launch, and that was um, the last launch that I saw, which was in February. So this is my third and, of course, final space shuttle launch. It's pretty amazing when you think about it uh, that something like Twitter could find us at uh, a space shuttle launch, but it is really uh, kind of tells you about the power of social media. Um, we've made lots of good friends here, uh, lifetime friends. Uh, and they're all back here, even though they're not at the tweet up this time. Uh, and not only that, I know personally of some people uh, in our tweet-up group who have um, actually found space careers because of their use of Twitter and coming down here through the tweet-up because of the uh, space shuttle launch. So uh, I know he tweeted something recently and it says, Twitter is not a toy. Uh, he literally got his dream job through Twitter. It's a lot of fun to do that uh, through Twitter and Facebook to publish what we're experiencing through um, text and photos and videos. And uh, we've been doing that as a group here and sharing that with the, the people that can't be here. Um, when we were at the tweet up uh, two launches ago, um, they told us that our tweets reached six million people. So it really reveals the power of social media and the effect that it's having um, on, this, on the media landscape. Oh yeah, we were, we were standing at that time. We moved so that we had a better view of the uh, launch pad. And my heart was literally pounding and uh, took uh, someone's hand and put it on my chest. They could feel my heart pounding. And really, that's a demonstration of how passionate we are about, uh, about space and about the space shuttle. Uh, we were just thinking, we can't believe that we're witnessing history, the final launch of this particular vehicle. The first launch was STS-1 in 1981. Uh, the shuttle was designed, uh, was, it was conceived in the late 60s, designed in the 70s, and this literally is it. And the next vehicle to go into space that will bring men into space from the United States will be a capsule, much like the Apollo capsule. So we are truly witnessing history, and there was a sense of it here among all the folks that were watching.
Well, basically what you're, you're, you're looking at is, you know, they fire the main shuttle engines. Um, they wait about five seconds until they're certain that uh, this, this thing's going to go today. And then they fire the solid rocket boosters. And at that point, the solid rocket boosters are like candles. Once you light them, there is no stopping them. So we're watching the smoke come out of the shuttle pad. Um, we're watching this incredibly intense orange flame. It's the most intense orange um, flame you can imagine. It's, it's searing to the eyes. And then finally, about a minute later, you hear the space shuttle. It takes about a minute to uh, cross to the location where we're at because we're about 12 miles away. So at the speed of sound, that's about a one minute uh, traverse. So the excitement was really palpable, um, and our hearts were all beating. We were cheering and just really um, watching history. We were watching from right here where we are now, which is the uh, Astronaut Hall of Fame, which is uh, located at the Kennedy Space Center. Right, we're about 12 miles away. The closest you can actually watch is about three miles away, which is the press site, the NASA press site. Very much bittersweet. Uh, we are all uh, very excited to see the final space shuttle launch, and yet we knew that we were seeing indeed the last launch of the space shuttle. And it is very bittersweet uh, to see the manned space program really put on hold for maybe, who knows, five years or more uh, for the United States. So we will be relying on the Russians to, to get astronauts up to the space station. We've had a permanent president's presence in space for over 10 years, and we'll be maintaining that, but unfortunately we have to uh, rely on the cooperation of the Russians for that from, from now. Yeah, we certainly are, and as an educator, I'm a professor at the Hudson Valley Community College, and I certainly try to inspire my students uh, to uh, get into engineering, math, science, so that um, the future generation of both astronauts and engineers are ready for the challenges um, and discoveries that lie ahead. Uh, I think that covers it, uh, unless you want to talk to one of the other um, Capital Region residents that are here. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'll let you talk to uh, Ed. Hold it low here. This is Ed Haddad. Turn around. Hi, how are you doing? Haddad, H A D D A D. H A D D A D. Are you still there? H, like in hotel, alpha, delta, delta, alpha, delta. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can hear you very well. I can hear you. Can you hear me all right? Let me get this. It's Haddad, H-A-D-D-A-D. -D -D -A -D.